What's up Titans? It's Curtis and in today's video I want to show you two Adobe Illustrator scripts that you can start using to mass scale your designs and create tons of different variations. And these two scripts are extremely powerful. They're created by a friend of mine. His name is Vasily. And I wanted to share them with the insider group here so that you guys can start taking advantage of them yourself. Uh, and it'll give you plenty of designs to then plug into Merch Titans Automation and push them out everywhere. So the first thing you need are two uh, scripts. The first one's a variable importer, and then the other, the second is the deal with overset text. And I'll put a download link in the comments below, or in the description below, so you can click there and get the scripts. And once you have them on your computer, uh, you'll then need to add them to your scripts folder in Adobe Illustrator. And you can find that in C, Program Files, Adobe, Adobe Illustrator, Presets, ENUS, uh, Scripts. So you basically want to copy those into this folder and then restart Illustrator. So once you're at that point, let's assume you have a design. And I'll, and I'll walk you through the process with one of my old designs. So this is a birthday design here. And you see I have June and I have 1950. So these two, I'd basically make these two layers variable layers and pull the data that I want here from a CSV spreadsheet. So I have my data over here, as you can see in column A, it's variable one. And these headers right here are very important. That's how you link the layers with the CSV spreadsheet with the importer script. So column A, I have variable one. You can see I have March and April. And of course I could go May, June, July, August. I could do the entire year if I wanted. And then variable two here is uh, the years. So you can see here I have the different years. And then the um, column C is the data set, which is really important because this is what the script will name your file when it's exporting it from Illustrator. So knowing that, and I already have my data set up here in the CSV spreadsheet, I'm gonna minimize that and I'm gonna connect it now to my uh, design over in Illustrator. But first things first, I need to make sure the layer is the same name as um, the header here, so variable one. So June would be variable one. So I'm gonna change the name here and then change the year variable. Let's change that to variable two. And the next step, once that's done, is to go to File, Scripts, go to Variable Importer, choose the data file. So go find your CSV file. Let's see, where did I save mine? Here it is. And then once you have that, you can see Variable 1, Variable 2, and Data Set. And of course, if you had a design that had like 10 different variables, you could do that too. There's no problems there. Uh, and when you have this, when you're at this point, you want to go into Options. Go to data set names and assign field one to the data set. And then I'd make everything else nothing. And then you can test the data set right here to see that it's working. So you can click OK, OK, and then import variables. And that'll take a few seconds. All right, so as you can see, everything is here. So next, you can cycle update all data sets to see if it's working. So you can see the years down here is changing and then the month will too. So that's extremely powerful. So now once you get to this point, uh, what you'll wanna do is create uh, an action over here in the action panel. And you can see the variable panel here. And if you don't see these two panels, you can go to window. You see the action panel here, you can ena enable it. And then down here, you see the variable panel. So knowing that we need to create an action. So in the actions panel, you go to create new action, but before I do that, because you have to run through it once, basically teaching the action how it works, I'm gonna hide this black layer. Um, now I'm gonna create the action, call it PNG save, and then now it's running. So it's recording right now. So I wanna go to file, save for web, make sure PNG 24 is selected, PNG 24, and then make sure we have the proper dimensions for merch, 4,500 by 5,400. It'll take a second to load that. Okay, and then click save. Go find the folder you wanna save it to and then save it. And 
And now that that is done, we basically have the action created. So click the little stop playing right here, stop recording button. And boom, your action's done. Make sure you turn the toggle off. You see these little icons? You want to turn that off. And the next step is to batch this export. So up here, you'll click this and go down to batch. And then shoot, oh, right here on the, the source, you want to make sure it's data sets. And then uh, the destination, you don't have to worry about that. Down here, you want to click these um, override action save and override action export commands. And then choose the folder you want to save your designs to. And once that's done over in the file name area, make sure it says data set name. And then when you click OK, it's going to go through the entire Excel spreadsheet and export everything for you. So now that is working. So it just started and it's saving. And it takes a minute to save these, but let's say you had a thousand designs you were scaling out with various different things. You could you could set it all up in Excel uh, in your CSV spreadsheet and then batch this and walk away from your computer. So if I go and pull up the um, pull up my actual folder, you can see they're saving in here. See? 1949 March, 1954, 1959. This is the one we saved when we were running the action the first time. So I'll let that go and then we'll come back to it when it's finished. Alright, so I let that finish and as you can see in here we have all the designs from the CSV spreadsheet. If you click into them, you can see we can move around. Everything's done. And if I right click on it and go to properties, details, you can see that it's 4500 by 5400 pixels. So everything is great, it's ready to go. So you can start to see the power of how you can mass scale these. But that's not the only thing this uh, variable, variable importer script can be used for. There's some, um, like for instance, I have this really simple template over here set up. And you can actually use this script with images too. And that's extremely powerful because now you can, you also have like down here, so you can see I have have beagles for the dog breed. So I have this dog breed template set up. And now with this, what I can do is I already have this connected just so I could show you. But as you can see, is the actual image for the dog changes too. So boxers, bull terriers, bulldogs, etc. So I can run through this entire thing and batch it and change the uh, and the image will change too. So it's really extremely powerful. And what I did want to show you guys, as you see here, this German Shepherd, it's too long. So with the other script, with the other variable importer script, I already had the PNG save over here, the action we made. So you want to insert the other script. You go right here and go to insert menu item. And it's called the deal with over with overset text. So you want to insert this here and make sure you move it up to the PNG save part. And I'll show you why. So let's get rid of the, actually let's leave the black background on here just so we can run this and I'll let you know why. So now I need to batch this one. I'm just going to save these to desktop. Now we'll let that run through. And I'll actually let you watch this in motion so right now it's just batching it's saving all these PNG files to my desktop. I'm doing nothing. Um, and when it gets to the one, if you remember the German Shepherd, the text was too long. So this is really great because you can convert it to an area type and then with that deal with overset text uh, script, it will make sure it fits inside that area type if it's too long. So it'll do it when it comes across that one. All right, see the German pointers and then over in the next one, the German Shepherd. See so how it's changing the size of the font all on its own to make sure it fits within a uh, area type. So you combine that with the variable importer and you have some serious power with Illustrator. You can mass scale designs in no time. So once this is done, I'll go show you the different designs on the desktop. And I only left the, ba uh, the black background on there so that you could see, because this is a white font, so that you could actually see it. So you could set up all these little profiles with little icons like your dog breeds and things like that and uh, come in and with different quotes and different things to scale out tons of designs in no time.
All right, and I think that's it. So you can see over here on desktop, I have everything. So we start scrolling through them. Obviously, I would remove the or I'd hide the back or the black background before I save these. But I was doing this for demonstrating purposes. So let's go to the German Shepherd. You see how everything fits inside the template. It's beautiful. Anyway, that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys these two scripts, kind of show you how to set them up and how to base or to simply start using them to or for your own benefit. And if you guys need any help, you can feel free to reach out to me. If I have free time, I'll definitely help you. Uh, but other than that, I got some really good things coming for Kindle Direct. I want to show you guys how to take all your existing merch designs and use these same variable importer scripts and put them on uh, covers for Kindle Direct Publishing. So there's a lot of cool things we can do with this. Now, we're, I feel like we're just getting started. And if you guys have any input or any ideas, let me know in the comments. But I sure appreciate you all, and I'll see you inside the group.